What is going on, Coaster Spotters? It is Alex, and it is August 28th, and we're at, back at Kenobis after nearly a year. Uh, it's gonna be a little bit of a different video today. Uh, I think from our normal visits to Kenobis, we got Chili Bean, and we're meeting up with our friends in just a moment. Don't know what we're really gonna do. Gonna leave it up to the friends to uh, decide what we're doing today. I would like to ride Impulse, haven't been on those new trains yet, but if we don't, we'll do it another time. Looks like it's kind of a busy day, but not too ridiculous for a Saturday. First up, we're doing the, the pierogies. These are the correct pierogies to get in the park. You can get other ones over by the Haunted Mansion, but these are the pierogies you want right down from the Power Search. And we're here with the theme park foodies. I'm, I'm a hands full. I know, look at that. Isn't that great? That looks yeah. great. Yeah, we're yeah, happy yeah. to have you to direct us yeah, to the no. correct I know, pierogies. that's kind of why I wanted to come. I, I, I've been coming here for... Long enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's our second trip ever. Yeah, yeah. So uh, let's just say that the Twister was not uh, built the first time I came here. Oh, wow. <laughs> so it's been a while. And she's being a sweetheart. Oh, my goodness. I don't think anybody's going to get tired of this. Yes. That's not, not like this. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of the best brogues ever had. But where was that? And I'm it's not just the butter, right? Yeah, no. It's bathed in butter, but it's not just the butter. You can taste like the outside is fresh. Yeah. It's not like hard or stale. Rubbery. No. And the filling is just, oh yeah. Fresh potato. Yeah. The butter, the flavor, the seasonings. Um, eight. I'm going to go with an eight, Sam. I agree with you. I agree with you too. Yeah. <laughs> I, I give it a nine. Any day, any day, all day. Yeah. yeah. So I got to tell you, the uh, the key to Knobles, especially, you know, you're the foodies, <laughs> is uh, lots of people so you can share things, so you can eat, eat more things. And also Knobles, if you're not riding something, eating something or something in your hand <laughs> that is food products, you're just doing it wrong. <laughs> the food here is, as far as amusement park food goes, I can't think of a place that really does it better. It's not gourmet, but yeah. it's all just good yes. stuff. It's amusement amusement park food. Not like, like, uh, it's step above. And there are some things yeah. that are like, uh, we pass a burger stand that's like right on the other side. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like the most basic burger ever. I had it once, I was like, oh, this is why I never had this in 15 years. <laughs> you have to know where to go, which is why we're, we're glad that uh, we're here with you, Alex. Uh, sure, sure, yeah. Spots. We may have gotten the wrong pierogies next to the Haunted Mansion. I know, I know, it's, it's a big thing, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let's move on to something else, whatever you guys want to do. All right. Before you get the sandwich. Oh, yeah. The waffle sandwich is a little bit different now. They don't have the, the try, the Napolitan Nepal, uh, ice cream anymore. So it's just fresh ice cream now from the old mill, which is, I mean, this actually looks pretty good. And then, I don't know how I missed this, but now they have uh, Pop-Tart pop ice cream sandwiches, which we have two s'mores Pop-Tarts. And uh, what do we got in the middle there? Oh, it's peanut butter ripple vanilla ice cream. Wow. Although I'm feeling like this is more of a pop tart sundae than a sandwich. Yeah. I know. I mean, very hard. You definitely to, can't it's, pick it's that. It's too thick. I think it yeah. might be like a nacho situation. Yeah. Or you could quick get the ice cream to get it down to where you could actually make it into Which a. Is, yeah. I feel like it's going to be too massive. <laughs> Fresh waffle. I like that you have the strawberry because it's higher quality ice cream for sure. And that was always my favorite part of the, uh, the tri flavor. So thumbs up for me. <laughs> and uh, I don't know why. Someone didn't think to do pop tarts and ice cream before. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, probably give uh, both these probably like a seven point five. We, I agree with that assessment. I yeah. give this a seven. Okay. You gave. It I a only seven. knocked it lower just because I don't like messy things. And yeah. Nothing, nothing the to do with I, the taste. It was just the convenience and. Yeah, yeah. The way I approached this was just have some of the ice cream first, so then I could make it into Smush a sandwich. It. Yes. Mm. Big tip: if you're uh, coming here, and it's a. Uh, Ticket only day, go to the Weiss food markets. You can get a $20 book for just $16. Just go up to the customer service desk and you can do it. So we're going on our first ride, a ride that Chili Bean can go on. Yeah, the Pioneer train. A 1.8 mile narrow gauge train ride through the forest. <laughs>
All right, so I feel like I was going to ask you about the train and what you thought about it, but I think you, all I know is you got it. You, yeah. you understood it. Like, oh, no, no, it's, it's... I was like, you got to do it. Why? You should have done it last time. <laughs> it's an awesome value because not only do you get to go, like, inside and weave, um, I believe we weave through Twister, right? Yes. Yeah, you get to, like, weave through Twister and see the inner workings of the uh, back coaster. You also get to see, the, like, the backwoods area and a lot of the camp areas here. So scenic. It's a nice feed. Yeah. yeah. I like, like that there's no overhang. It's very open. Yeah. You, you don't miss anything. Yeah. Seven, eight minutes and for $2.50. Yeah, and uh, it is, I mean, it's a similar narrow gauge uh, as Adventureland, you were saying. I believe yeah. that's just a standard, uh, what they call a CP hum Huntington train. It's they've The company who makes it is Chance Rides, and they've made, like, God, like 500 of those things. Oh. They're all over the world, especially the United States. Oh, Most wow. likely, if you have a small narrow gauge park train, it's made by them. And you yeah. got to come back at some point and do it during Halloween because of all the special things they definitely. do for it. Yeah, yeah. No, we definitely would love to do that. They do up the price a little bit for that, but I think it's worth it, definitely. Yeah, well, I mean, if it's, yeah. you know, if it's the... <laughs> Woo-hoo-hoo! Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Way smoother now too. That's so smooth. That was excellent. Next up is getting a ribbon cube. These are so good. And uh Shelly Bean is being such a sweetheart. Uh, the new impulse trains, really like them, they're very smooth, uh, just as forceful as before. So uh, yeah, really enjoyed that and uh, I'm glad it's back and uh, with new trains that can operate more uh, regularly. Yeah, definitely. So, because uh, it was down to one train a lot of the time in the last few years. So, yeah, and we pretty much uh, nearly full queue and waited like 45 minutes, if that. So, line moved really nicely and uh, enjoyed it. 20 second review. What did you think of Impulse? Um, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a lot smoother than uh, other rides that I feel like have a similar track layout. Like th uh, Thunderbolt yeah. kind of comes to mind in um, Coney Island. People that call that Thunder Jolt. Yeah, <laughs> I, could, I could see that. Uh, but I, I it's probably why I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, to Thunderbolt is... And honestly, the only smooth ride at Coney Island is Phoenix. And that's really a, a kid or a family coaster. I was so appreciative of that ride when uh, I was on. I was yeah. like, thank God. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, oh, very you smooth. Know. I really liked the inversions. Uh, and you don't really feel a lot of G's in the inversions, but it feels like you're kind of like floating almost. In the yeah, it has nice G's like going into that vertical loop, yes. but it's not sustained. Yes. Yeah, it's would, nice. Yeah. Um, you know, overall, it's a fun ride. Definitely a fun ride. Nothing to really like write home about, but it's a lot of it's a lot of fun. But it's solid. Like, yeah, it's yeah. not like it's. I, I got off and oh man, that was rough. Or oh man, that you know, like I've said with I said like Thunderbolt previously. I feel like any coaster that I ride here, it's unique and it uh, complements the area very well. Yeah. All right, and now on to the ribby cube, because, like, look at this. Way better than McDonald's. The foodies are checking out the Carousel Museum, which I highly suggest you do. It's uh, very good. It's short, but you should definitely do that. And next time we come here, we'll do a video inside of here. I've been meaning to do that for a while, so... Uh, be sure to subscribe. We've done plenty of Kenobles videos and we'll continue to do it. All right, we're on the Phoenix with Jay from the Theme Park Foodies. Let's see his first reaction to the Schmeck seat. I'll explain that to you later. Oh, yeah. You said this is the best seat in the boat. Easily the best seat. The okay. airtime is absolutely ridiculous and you have all that space. The airtime in the back was nuts. <laughs> Has your life been changed? That seat was crazy. So this was designed by Herbert Schmeck, and uh, 
his coasters are known on the third seat of the first car to just have ridiculous airtime. So that's why we call it the Schmeck seat. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah, well, I'm glad I know that. Yes. I feel like I, I said to this seat before, I think the camera was up. I felt like if I straightened my legs out, I would have flown out of the car. I'm sure I wouldn't have. Yeah, unfortunately, the POV died like halfway through, but like, because, <laughs> yeah. you know. A lot of fun. I, I don't. Yeah, I thought the back row was nuts. That was nuts. I yeah. definitely, I recommend. So it was the third, first car. Third, third seat. seat. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah, Thunderhawk at Dorney Park does a similar thing. It's also designed by Schmeck, so. All right. There you go. Well, if I go there again, I'll know that. And that was super quick. It was like 10 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously. Because, like, if you see right now, that train's, like, there, and that other train in the station is probably about ready to leave, and at... Some other parks like Six Flags, they probably haven't even let people into the train yet. <laughs> <laughs> What's good too is I like the ticketing system keeps the lines down for people as well. Yeah, yeah. Having to pay like per ride. All right, I think we have time for one more ride and one more treat, and then I gotta head home to the dog sitting or the dog that I'm sitting for. So, for but, but where's she? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing back she here? She is an attraction of her own. So I know. Many people have come over. <laughs> World famous Shelly Bean. Yeah, I'm just like her handler, like <laughs> my pet her. So I've uh, never been in here. <laughs> I, I always get distracted by the world's best flying scooters. <laughs> yeah, so. no, this is one of our favorite spots. Do you want to go in? And, and yeah. Those are so cute. <laughs> it's, like little peanut butter fudge pies. it smells amazing in here, doesn't it, Jeff? Yeah, it's so good. Well, I guess I'm putting this in the vlog. That means I know where we're coming next time we come here, Fairyel. It's going to be like beelining to here. I know, it's, it's really nice here. And it's nice air conditioning. Yeah. Where is it out of here? Right. What's exactly in here? Um, so it's it's fudge. It's a fudge shake. I don't think I'm not sure if there's ice cream in it, but it's definitely fudge in it. it tastes more like ice. It's so good though. Regardless, it's a fudge drink. They call it. It's a fudge drink. Liquid fudge. <laughs> it's somewhere between like a milkshake and something like uh, a coffee drink. Well, because I got mocha cheese. I got um the coffee one. So. Yes. I like it. It's really good. Oh, you got a coffee flavor? Yeah, mocha... mocha what was it? Oh, yeah, mocha chino. I, mocha yeah. I didn't know they had that. Yeah, they had a coffee flavor. They oh, no. <laughs> no, that, ours is like super rich. Like, it's so delicious. I think it's perfect. I like it. So we don't have time, but next time I got to teach you how to uh, snap the flyers. <laughs> if you watch... Um, one guy was doing it. Let me see who can do it well. So basically what happens is, oh, that guy over there. Yeah. yeah, what happens is this one runs a lot faster than like ones that you'll see like Dorney Park, Cedar Point oh. or whatever. And if you know how to fly it, you can fly it so quickly and so high that basically the, the car gets ahead of the spinning thing in the oh. middle. And then what happens is uh, the cables uh, lose slack and then there are two cables, you know, one as a backup. And then when they lose slack, the cables come apart right there, that guy right there, oh, in the wow. pink. They come out and then they come back together and they snap. So it's called snapping the flyers. Oh, wow, that's interesting. I'm... We'll have to do this again. Ariel will have to come next time and we'll... Uh... Thank you. Yeah, yeah I know. You, but we'll snap the flyers You'll together. see her in like two weeks. Because <laughs> somehow we planned our trips down to Universal at the same time without knowing it. Yeah. At the same hotel. Yeah. Did not plan that. No, right. not at all. <laughs> and we're not stalking you. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll have to do this next time. And uh, hopefully that wonderful, unique roller coaster in the background will be open for you too. Because I want to try the new, they modified it. And oh. I really like to try it out. It's not that much different, but you know me, coaster enthusiasts. Yeah. I love all the little differences. We talk about the stupidest things. Yeah, like, I know, dude, I, I'm not, I wouldn't consider myself a huge coaster enthusiast, but honestly, I want to try that ride out. It's yeah. I mean, come on. We start talking about like, what kind of brakes are on it? What kind of wheels are running on it? What materials the wheel is right now? Like, is it the spring wheels or the winter wheels? You would just be like, what? Such a nerd. Anyways, thanks for watching this video. We'll have plenty more videos from Canoles eventually. Probably not this year, but maybe. So look out there and just subscribe and it'll come right to your uh, notifications. Uh, and once again, thanks for joining me today. And uh, Go check out the Fiend Park Foodies. I said it last time, these guys are genuine. They are not fake, and we love that about you guys. Same about you, Alex. All right. Thanks. See you next time.